Children are not getting the recommended amount of vegetables. Deep down, most of us know that. Guidelines released by the CDC last year confirm it. Fortunately, our next guest has time-saving ideas to help busy parents. You may know her best as the head judge on the Food Network's Iron Chef America and Next Iron Chef, celebrity chef and mom, Donatella Arpaia. Good to see you, Donatella. Good to see you, too. Uh, you for having some, me. Uh, yeah, no, I'm glad you could make it this morning. For those of us who aren't iron chefs, I wish I was. Sometimes I feel like I am, but I'm not. But we really want to step it up. We want to, what are some th simple things we can do when it comes to what we're feeding Everyone our kids? Everyone has a little iron chef in them. Um, I, I know, yeah, but I think so. Most, import <laughs> it's true. most importantly, now, not only am I an iron chef judge, but a few years ago I became mom to a three-year-old, and my goal is to get them to eat vegetables <laughs> because yeah. you you hear the statistics it's alarming and we really need to do something about it and you don't have to be a chef to get your kid to eat their vegetables um, you got to be a little sneaky so I'm gonna make a dish for you today um, find um, recipes that your kid loves like mac and cheese yeah. like scrambled eggs whatever their favorite food is and try and incorporate vegetables in it so I'm ha I have some ricotta here I'm adding a little pasta water this is so simple and actually it looks and feels very chefy. A little pasta. Um, fresh herbs are really important. I have some fresh um, mint, some lemon zest, and my key ingredient here today is getting my son to eat peas, some peas. These are really easy and convenient because they come in these little cups, they're pre-cooked, so all you have to do is drain it and pour it in. Um, it's a, I'm just started working with Libby's because I think what they came out with is the most brilliant thing, veggies in a cup. Right. We have fruit in a cup and now we have veggies in a cup. And I find that when you have little things in a cup and you put it in that kid's snack drawer in your home, yeah. kids think it's bad for them. Right, it's actually right. good for them. No, I actually. like that tip, but this is a challenge for almost every parent. What tips do you have for helping us not only sneak those vegetables in, but also to be on the lookout for examining labels. Yes, um, it's so important. You know, as a chef, we try to stay away from packaged goods as much as possible. We were taught that, but today, there's a lot of packaged goods that are high quality, and all you have to do is read the nutritional labels. Stay away from words that you don't understand and too many ingredients. Less is more. Um, like Libby's, they have an assortment of different vegetables, like corn in a cup, carrots in a cup, green beans in a cup. I've created a whole bunch of recipes. You can go to the website, getbacktothetable.com, and there's a lot of fun. And I promise you, these recipes don't take a long time. You're going to feel like an iron chef, and you're going to get your children to eat their vegetables. And I think the biggest thing is time. Yeah. We don't have time. So when you find a product, that is giving your kids vegetables and that's easy and fresh, you go for it. You use what you can. I would love to go to the farmer's market every day. I just don't have time. So when I find certain products that work, I use them. And I just think veggies in a cup is brilliant. Yeah, no, I do Anything too. Anything in a I, cup I, is brilliant. Yeah, actually. I do too. I think that's a great tip. My kids <laughs> but love But veggies in a cup, cup instead of, you know, instead of sugary snacks and chips. Yeah. Um, I, I, and it makes children think of it as candy, like, Right, and I think corn and carrots—they're so sweet. That's all. I think it's funny they chose peas because my kids hate peas. I'm getting them to eat broccoli a little bit, but those peas—that's a tough one for them to swallow. Uh, real quick, I know, you I, know I, I, I don't want—I I, want to change subjects a little bit because we can't have you on here without getting the scoop on Iron Chef America. What can we look forward to? Um, I, <laughs> Iron Chef America—they have me doing a lot of crazy things. They're thinking about new mystery ingredients. One of them is not food; it's an alcohol as a mystery ingredient. Right. That was particularly fun. You can look forward to me being as critical but as fair as ever. Right, <laughs> that's great. How about a website to go to, Donatella, for all the stuff that we talked about this morning? Just go to getbacktothetable.com. I could do another 10 minutes with you, Donatella. This is good stuff. Oh, thank you so much. And you know what? You can get your kids to eat peas. My son didn't eat peas for like four months and now he eats peas. I'm gonna do it. I'll check back with you to keep you posted Gotta on be that. tricky. You, you do, gotta you gotta be sneaky. Donatella, thanks for your time this Put morning. Put them in a cup, get, get the cups. <laughs> I will, they I'm they get the feel cups. like packaged snacks. Donna's done, It's I'm like doing psychological it. with them. <laughs> All right, Donatella, thanks. Mary, over to you. 
Thank you, Mike. Today on social media, on this day in 1984, Apple introduced the Macintosh. Oh, man, fourth grade. Heller Harrison <laughs> Elementary School, Oregon really? Trail. They roll the computer in there uh -huh. and play Oregon Trail, roll oh, it back out to the next so classroom. Check this out, kids. Our question to you is, when did your family first get a computer? Join us on Facebook at Morning Blend Omaha. We're also on Twitter at OMA Morning Blend. Still ahead on the Morning Blend, a live performance from Bells and Whistles. Find out how they and other musicians are building up for Habitat for Humanity. But first, the small gland that has a big impact on your health. Omaha 